Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. So I think that when you're digging with a machine, yeah. the most important thing is, you know, learning the controls is just the basic. You just, you know, you get on there and you know what control does what. But the best part, you know, the hardest part about digging is when you want, you want to know what you're doing with your bucket, where your bucket is at all times. You know, so you want to basically focus on your bucket. You don't want to think about what your hands are doing. You want to think about what your bucket's doing. Because, you know, you got people out there, you got utilities in the ground. You want to be able to focus on that, be able to control your bucket at all times. So if you're too busy thinking about what your hands are doing, you're going to lose control of what's going on out around your machine. So I think that's probably the most important thing, you know, making passes instead of hogging. You know, I mean, there's different styles of digging for different materials. Uh -huh. But the basic, the, the best, the best thing you can learn when you're digging, especially when you're around utilities, is making a pass with your bucket versus digging in and ripping it out, you know? Because then if you've got something you need to take a small out, amount yeah. of time, just a little bit at a time. Especially when you're digging around utilities. Because most of them are, you know, have sand and stuff around them, so you can find them. And that's what it takes. Well, you always have to be, you know, expect that there's going to be something there that's, you know, directly buried that, that's always unexpected, always surprised. I think the number one guy, though, the number one lesson to learn, though, whether you're operating or on the ground, is the guy on the ground is the most important guy in there. Because he's your eyes and ears for everything that's going on. I mean, you can see the back of your bucket. You can pass over something. It can be on the back side of your bucket, you know, and you haven't seen it yet. And that guy on the ground is going to see it first, you know. So it's important to have a good spotter on the ground. You know, I mean, you get to a point after many years where you can feel with your controls, but, you know, it takes a long time. It takes a lot of experience to get to that point.